Hello guys, this is Christian Chavi again with another quick video. I just wanted to make this video because a lot of time I'm um, talking to other investors or just other people that I meet up with that have any interest in real estate or in investing, especially when it comes to being a landlord, um, in my opinion, have a very negative point of view on it. So here's my thing. Um, something can't be really negative or positive when it comes to renting out houses it really comes to your point of view if in the past you had great success with it you have a positive point of view on renting out houses in the past if you had bad tenants or um, something's bad has happened to you with the property or with a tenant you have a negative perspective so there is no real estate investing works or renting out houses doesn't work or it does all that is opinions. What it comes down to, you as an individual needs to make your own decision. And we can only come to that through logic, in my opinion. So, why do people say renting doesn't work? Um, because, in my opinion, there are people right now, for example, Grant Cardone, who has 4,000 units and makes 50 million passive income a month off his units. Now he owns apartments. I know that's different. But... You can't say that something doesn't work. So, me, myself, I have a few rentals. I've had, I haven't had a huge problem with them. Um, I've had squatter issues, and I've figured out a way to get them out without really having to go through a lot of stress. Yes, I've having things, just minor things destroyed, but nothing to the point where like, oh, I'm out, you know. And um, for the people that I've dealt with wholesaling, and they've been landlords. Um, the reason why they want it out so bad is because they probably never walked through the property. When I walk through these properties that these owners own, I am shocked. And I'm like, well, you know there's like uh, six kids in the house. There's feces everywhere. There's three cars in the driveway. I don't know if these people work. It's 12 o'clock on a Tuesday. I mean, how did you find these people? Me, personally, I scream judge you know people say oh judging is wrong maybe so but this is a moral thing this is business if you come to a showing with tattoos pants hanging you know you look like mike tyson you got a tattoo on your face crest in your eyes you know you, you rolled up in a flat tire you came to the showing with five of your friends and well, one guy smoking outside the car you know and then you know there's two people who come to the house are yelling you know, take note. These are people you should probably avoid. Okay. But on the other hand, don't always go for the person who comes there looking like a saint. Okay. They may come talk like a saint, but wait till they pull off the block, you know, and they go home and their house looks like a dungeon. So you never really know, but that's when it comes to making a smart, you know, estimate. Yes. And the only way you can do that is through what you see, smell, touch. And what you feel about an individual so we can never blame as landlords or investors we can never blame tenants because we allow those people to be in the house so vice versa for a landlord who said real estate investing doesn't work that's not accurate okay rental properties are fine flipping is fine these are all different avenues they all have pros and cons but you as an individual needs to find what works best for you. For me, I've noticed that my fear and pain tolerance is pretty low. So when I say that, that means I'm not a huge fan of taking risk. As in, I don't want to say, I don't, I don't like looking at a year, right, of time and saying, oh, I have to do six flips. They have to be this amount that will make me, you know, that, that doesn't sit well with me. What sits well with me is, hey, I need... 10 units, 300 uh, passive income per unit net, you know, will give me a certain amount of gold, will give me a certain amount of monthly cash flow that's comfortable with me. Um, other people are different. Other people may not want that. Um, some people uh, may just want one building. You know, I just want one plaza. I want one, du you know, one duplex. I want to rent them out for a thousand a piece. That's possible. Find the area where you can do that at, okay? Some people may just want 10 units. Some people want 100. Now, if you want 100 units and you may, don't have a lot of money, you may have to buy, you know, crappier units, you know, in, in areas that are not the best side of town. But then when it comes to that, 
you must be a tennis screening expert and it's not that hard there's so many tools online that you can use back back in the 1600s there wasn't there wasn't my smart sale there wasn't you know mr landlord tennis screen none of that existed so everything is so much easier now and nowadays you can hire people to do this oh all property management companies are are bad <clears throat> that's not true that's your reality because that's what you came across there are great property management companies out there and there are bad ones so it's our job as the entrepreneur to find the right tenant the right house the right location the right partner the right contractors that fit what we're looking for without complaining so i just want to make this video because i hear a lot of negative complaining in real estate when i was an agent that's all i heard oh buyers are liars sellers are whatever they said about so everybody complained about everything and then there's one guy in the office who loves buyers He's like, I'll take your buyers, and he's making he's making money, because he stopped making excuses and he controlled the situation. He didn't let buyers or sellers or anything outside of him control him. He controlled what he was in. So if the buyer was, uh, he didn't blame the buyer if he had to go on 15 showings because he took the buyer on 15 showings. See what I'm saying? Same thing with tenants, you know, showings. I try not to do 400 showings. Hey. Thursday's the day, okay? Between this time and this time, you want to come, great. First come, first serve. So, you know, structure your life, your business, the way it is for you. Please, don't make the mistake I did and let other people's opinion run your decisions. Because what it will do is it will creep into your mind, put these negative, um, what I call it, negative perceptions into your head, which will stop action, Okay? All wholesaling are. Da, 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 da. Don't let anybody come vomit on your dreams or vomit on what you want to do. Go experience it for yourself. Make your own conclusion. And don't be so quick to come to a conclusion because when you start something new, expect to fail, expect to lose. You, you know, you're not going to start golf and then go shoot your first 18 and, and, and everything's going to be a birdie. You know, you're not going to hit the green every time. That's just life. You know, but after a few years, after practice, after coaching, after watching videos, after getting help, getting mentors, after, um, you know, after being in it for a couple years, you just end up picking it up. And that's something that works in any area of life. So I just want to make that quick video. Hope that made sense to you guys. It's kind of a little bit of a rant, a little bit misdirection, but let me know your thoughts um, just to wrap it up, basically. Um, when it comes to, you know, renting or flipping houses or real estate investing, mainly I was talking about renting, um, come up with your own conclusions, take full responsibility, complete ownership, extreme ownership, great book, by the way, about some Navy SEALs, um, take extreme ownership of your property, where you invest, the people you put in there, how you manage your tenants, and do not blame the outside. Don't blame the city because you chose to invest in that city. You didn't have to. Don't blame the tenant. You chose to put them in there. And once you stop blaming, it's amazing because now you're in your control. When it's not someone else's fault, it's your fault, then you can change the outcome. So that's the amazing thing. So, all right, guys, I'm about to get back to work. I just want to make that quick video. Thank you. If you like this video, please subscribe. Um, be like, hey, Christian, could you make a video about this? Let me know what you guys want to hear. And, um, you know, stay tuned for the podcast. And, um, I'll see you guys on another video. Take care now.